one. Let us discuss this example. So in this example, we have to find these three open balls. Okay. So what is a matrix space here? Matrix space is a discrete matrix space. So I hope all of you are familiar with this definition of discrete matrix space. Let me write it once more. Okay. So we have, let me write, we have uh, D. D is a discrete matrix. That means D of X, Y is equal to zero if X is equal to Y and it is equal to one if X is not equal to Y. That means in a discrete matrix space, there will be two distances only, either zero or one. If you take a same point, if both points are same, then distance is zero. If both points are different, distance is one. So there will be only two possibilities. So with this discrete metric, we have to find these open balls. Okay, so let us start to find one by one. So first of all, I will find uh, now. Okay, now I will find the first one B X one by two. Okay, so I will write the definition of open ball here. Okay, so which we are going to use open ball with center X. Re, uh, radius r let me write here radius r is equal to y belongs to x such that d of x y less than r right so we have to find its open balls right so and definition of open ball is this one so if you compare open ball with center x radius r we have open ball with center x radius 1 by 2 that means r is equal to 1 by 2 let us use r is equal to 1 by 2 in this definition so we will have y belongs to x such that d of x y less than 1 by 2 since our radius r is 1 by 2 right so as i told you earlier in a discrete metric there will be two distances either zero distance or one distance getting so we are saying distance is less than half distance is less than half that means there is only one possibility that is distance is zero getting since there are two distances only less than half that means zero so i can write y belongs to x such that d of x y is equal to zero since distance is less than half that means zero only getting so distance is zero it means both points are same so let me write here so y belongs to x such that x is equal to y since definition says if distance is zero both points are same so here we consider all points of x such that which are equal to x which are equal to x means x only since uh, yes that's why i can write here x only so open ball with center x radius 1 by 2 is equal to singleton x getting so if you consider open ball with center x uh, and radius 1 by 2 so it has only one point getting in a ball you find just one point only and which is nothing but its center so it's looking different but actually it is true in discrete matrix so open ball with center x radius 1 by 2 contains only center of that ball nothing else let us go further we have one more ball let us uh, talk about the second ball open ball with center x radius 1 we will for simply follow the definition here center is same x radius is different r is equal to 1 so definition says y belongs to x such that d of x y less than 1 getting so as I told you earlier, in a discrete matrix, there will be two possibilities, either distance 0 or 1. We are saying distance less than 1, not equal to 1, huh? less than 1. That means distance will be 0 only. Okay, let me write y belongs to x such that d of x, y is equal to 0. Since distance less than 1, that means less than 1, that means 0 only. So d of x, y is equal to 0. So what can we write? y belongs to x such that x is equal to y since definition says if distance is 0 both points should be same so here we collect all points of x which are equal to x which are equal to x that means x only so here also we have only one possibility that is x since this we consider points which are equal to x so x only so this ball also contains center only getting a ball with uh, center x radius 1 it has only one point which is singleton x let us go for the third ball so now let me write here open ball with center x radius 7 by 4 so this is equal to let us follow the definition y belongs to x such that d of x y less than 7 by 4 7 by 4 what is the value of 7 by 4 let me write 7 by 4 is equal to 7 by 4 is equal to let me count huh? so 1.75 its value is 1.75 so yes distance is less than 1.75 that means both possibilities will be there 
either distance can be 0, distance can be 1, since it is less than 1.75. So, let me write here. So, y belongs to x such that d of x, y is equal to 0 or d of x, y is equal to 1, since it is less than 1, both possibility will be there. So, that means either x is equal to y or x is not equal to y, both possibility there. But see, if you consider any point of a matrix, either it will be at 0 distance or it will be at 1 distance. So that means all elements of x satisfy this, these two conditions, okay, one of these two conditions. So this is nothing but x, entire matrix space as x. That means open ball with center x, uh, with uh, center x and radius 7 by 4, that is nothing but uh, entire matrix space x. So what did we find here, okay? We find that means open ball is either single element or entire matrix space X. So, yeah, two extreme situations we got here. Okay. So, yes, we found out all these three balls. Make a screenshot of it. Then we'll stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.